A community is in utter disbelief after four people were found murdered inside this house yesterday. We are live on Castlemore Avenue in Markham, where we are learning more about the four victims. A source tells City News they are the suspect's father, mother, grandmother, and sister. Police have now identified the suspect as 23-year-old Menhaz Zaman. He is now charged with four counts of first-degree murder. We want to warn you that some of the details in this story may be disturbing to some of our viewers. City News has obtained screenshots of messages the suspect posted online after he allegedly committed these crimes. A quaint two-story house, now the scene of a horrific quadruple murder. It was inside this residence that the suspect posted the gruesome details of the alleged crimes online. First mom, then granny, then sister, and lastly dad, he started, adding, I was shaking the entire day. City News obtained screenshots of the messages that were posted to the multiplayer adventure fantasy game called Perfect World Void, allegedly shortly after the murders. Zaman was posting online right up until his arrest at 3.17 p.m. yesterday. When police arrived, they immediately took him into custody. When we got to the front door of the house, that's where we confronted the man, uh, that 23-year-old man who's now in custody. Uh, and then officers went inside and found the bodies of the deceased people. The suspect used this avatar in the game. A source tells City News the suspect had talked about committing these crimes for years, so no one believed him until he shared photos of the alleged murder scene, as well as a photo of himself holding what appeared to be a bloody knife. In the online messages, Zaman offered a full explanation of why he did what he did. He talked about feeling depressed and dropping out of university, writing, I started getting depressed, became an atheist, and ultimately created this plan. I don't want my parents to feel the shame of having a son like me. And then, what's done is done and what had been planned has been concluded. In his final post before being arrested, Zaman wrote, the police are here, goodbye. A tenant who says she lived in the family's home for six years came to the scene today. She didn't want to appear on camera but had this to say about the suspect. I was surprised about Minhaz. He was such a nice guy. He was such a sweetheart. He would help me. He was very helpful for me for whole six years. A 23-year-old man is in police custody tonight charged with murder. York Regional Police confirming Menhaz Zaman was uh, arrested after four people were found dead inside of this Markham home. Officials arrived at the Castlemore residence around 3 yesterday afternoon for reports of injured people. That's when police made the grisly discovery, the bodies of three women and one man. City News has confirmed those victims are Zaman's father, mother, grandmother and sister. In screenshots obtained by City News, the suspect posted about the alleged crimes to the multiplayer adventure fantasy game Perfect World Void, which included pictures. Zaman also wrote about feeling depressed and that he didn't want his parents to feel shame, the shame of having a son like him. Now, because his alleged crimes were made public, there are questions about who called police. Police, when asked, here's what York police had to say. We're not providing details on where that first call came from at this point in time, other than to say that the report that we had received was that there may be possible, uh, multiple people possibly injured inside the residence. That's the call that we responded to. Uh, and then when we got to the front door of the house, that's where we confronted the man, uh, that 23-year-old man who's now in custody. Uh, and then officers went inside and found the bodies of the deceased people. This afternoon, a Perfect World administrator released a statement about what men has posted, saying in part, to be clear, his crimes had nothing to do with Perfect World or us at all. The admin adds he has been more offensive than the usual recently, as a few of you have seen and reported, which led to him being banned from our game platform. Zaman is expected back in court on August 3rd. We have much more on this story on our website. Just head to citynews.ca.